After 44 days of waiting, Chelsea are back and they mean business, smashing 2-0 to Bournemouth. It was a first half masterclass so from Graham Potter's new attacking tactics to the return of a legend and some massive breaking transfer news. Let's break it all down and discuss the five things that we learned from Chelsea 2-0 to Bournemouth. Welcome back to Chelsea Online. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel on this road to 5,000 subscribers. Denis Zakaria, cool and composed in midfield with Chelsea light in midfield due to a combination of injuries and fatigue from the World Cup. Denis Zakaria, on loan from Juventus, was granted just his third start of the season in all competitions after featuring in a 2-1 Champions League dead rubber win over Dinamo in early November and a 2-0 Carabao Cup defeat to Manchester City seven days later. Zakaria kept things ticking in midfield alongside Giorgino, playing 88% of his attempted passes before being replaced by Kono Gala with 10 minutes left on the clock. With the likes of Matteo Kovacis and Golo Kante especially injury prone, the Swiss midfielder could establish himself as a valuable member of the squad for the rest of the season if he's able to consistently replicate this form. Blues will hope Rhys James' setback isn't major. After a fairly quiet evening in defense, James was substituted just after half time after signaling to the bench with a knock, potentially a recurrence of the knee injury sustained previously. Chelsea fans will hope the defender's injury is only a minor hitch. The 23 years old integral to the side as the Blues look to complete across multiple competitions for the remainder of the season. Kai Havertz's performance huge for his confidence. After joining the Blues in the summer of 2020 for a fee of roughly £79 million, Havertz has flattered to deceive in his time in West London so far, scoring 9 goals in his debut season at Chelsea, followed by 14 in all competitions last season, 8 in the league, and just 4 in all competitions so far this campaign, attracting criticism for a perceived lack of consistency and finishing in front of goal. Operating as a false nine in a 4-3-3 setup, the German had a fine showing that oozed quality opening the scoring with a well-taken goal before teeing up Mason Mount on the edge of the box to make it 2-0. Havertz was also unlucky not to play an integral role in a third goal just before halftime, a dubious fall given against the forward before Christian Pulisic slotted home. Havertz can now look to tick on for the rest of the season and hopefully hit double figures in goals for the second time in his Chelsea career. Future is bright so far as evidenced by the Chelsea bench. With the likes of Matteo Kovacis, Hakim Ziyech and Golo Kante unavailable, Chelsea selected a highly youthful bench including 19 years old wonder kid. Omari in particular is highly rated in West London, putting up 9 goals and assists in 12 U21 appearances so far this season and gaining praise from teammates and Super B performance against Aston Villa in a friendly in UAE during the World Cup break. Andre Santos reportedly soon to hit, it is clear the new ownership under Todd Boyley are keen to develop a long-term sporting plan involving talented youth prospects across the pitch, both from the Academy of Cobham as well as players recruited globally. Clean sheet, hopefully the foundation for a more strong defense. After Thomas Tuchel centered his Chelsea side on a strong defense foundation and frequent clean sheets, the Blues have led this mantra slip in recent months, keeping just four clean sheets in the opening 16 league games and two in six Champions League group stage names.
Another clean sheet is also great for Kepa in goal, the Spaniard not conceding in four of his last seven league appearances as he regained his form and confidence following a world record transfer in summer of 2018. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to keep updated on all the latest Chelsea news.